Hello and welcome to the Open Book channel. My name is Oli Ander, your designated open book. In my pursuit to read more diversely, I don't just pick up authors of other cultures, but sometimes grab works from other age demographics too. I've picked up a few prose collections geared toward younger audiences and have two books of a similar sort to talk about today. If you're looking to connect with a simpler text or your inner child, these could be good for that or perhaps you're looking for something appropriate to give to a younger person in your life. Either way, in this video, I want to clump together the text Garvey's Choice and Starfish, both of which are short books written in prose, meant for adolescents, and which feature a heavier main character finding comfort in themselves. First, we'll talk about Garvey's Choice by Nikki Grimes. I only gave Garvey's Choice a 2.5 out of 5 stars because it was surprisingly short, even for the demographic, and had very little exploration of the tougher topics that are hinted at in it. There was no full cycle of conflict and resolution, but I do think that the included mundane interactions the characters have, although arguably unnecessary, could be a great way for kids averse to reading to gain a little more confidence both in reading and seeing themselves in the mostly blank slate that is Garvey. What actually isn't prominent in the description of the book is that Garvey's choice is written in Tanka poetry. A Tanka poem is a free verse, 31 syllable poem that originated in Japan, much like haiku. There are variation differences between languages though, and it's been adapted and modernized. Although I don't think Garvey's choice has a lot of literary merit in terms of storytelling, there's literally a poem that's just some kid's sandwich recipe in it, but I do think it could be a really easy introduction into studying poetry. The tank of poetry didn't add anything to the experience for me, but it could be an interesting text for children to dissect before they are thrust into friggin' Shakespeare. Now, Starfish by Lisa Phipps was a Goodreads Choice Award nominee for Best Middle Grade in Children's Literature in 2021. I'm not going to give a synopsis because all you really need to know is that Starfish has a main character named Ellie and it's all about body positivity. In both cases, I think these texts only scratch the surface of larger issues, but I also accept that I probably want too much from books meant for middle graders. Personally, I would have liked Ellie to struggle with her perception of herself and that of those around her as a means to bring young, insecure children around to that same confidence. Ellie as a character just is confident and uncharacteristically self-aware of how ridiculous fat-shaming culture can be, which is a bit unbelievable in such a young character, but again, that may just be what's best for the demographic. If they aren't already insecure, who am I to want to give them any idea that they should be? As much as I found the stance Starfish took as unnuanced, I did in the end like that Ellie has constructive confrontation with other characters about the way they treat her and why. It was nice to see that Starfish didn't just stick to accepting that perceptions of larger people like Ellie is unfair and there's nothing to do about it. It posed the question to all readers who may be a little biased towards that blind, hateful thinking, like Ellie's sister, what making harsh comments is meant to achieve, if not to hurt? What some people aim to be constructive when commenting on others rarely is, in my experience, and even as an adult, I could relate to that. Starfish is more concise and a cathartic read for younger audiences struggling with self-acceptance. So although I only gave Garvey's Choice 2.5 out of 5 stars and Starfish a 3 out of 5 stars, I do think that they have value for their intended age bracket. If you're looking to offer a younger person in your life a prose option to read, or something with fat representation and body positivity, these are both good options. As always, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed or want more similar content. If you'd like to support me or this channel, you can find a link to my pages in the description below. My name is Oleander, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.